everyone, I'm so sorry. I haven't made you guys a capsule wardrobe video in quite some time. The truth is, I'm actually a really fussy shopper. I don't buy lots of things, so I don't have lots of things to constantly share and show you. I have, though, recently bought myself a few really nice things that I'm loving and wearing and just enjoying um, presenting myself to the world in. I'm going to show you how I style them and how I wear them in just a second. But before I launch into that, I want to remind you of the five rules that I follow when I go shopping in building up my own capsule wardrobe. Now, I follow a minimalistic philosophy in my life. Um, I only buy what I love, value, use and appreciate. And I don't have a huge wardrobe space at my home. I don't like to squish and squash things into my wardrobe because they look all crushed, they're hard to find. And you don't feel good putting something on that hasn't been respected and treated nicely. So I'm incredibly selective as to what I buy. But these rules or these aspects that I think about when I shop, even standing in the changing room, really help me make better purchases. So the first thing I think about is number one, the color scheme. I operate off like a baseline color, which is my neutral. So the blacks, the navy blues, um, the tans, the whites and the creams. And they're the things I buy my basics in. I then allow myself to dabble in a few colors and they, I always naturally gravitate towards pastels, which you can see throughout this display of clothes um, and um, handbags here, because I love pastels, particularly in this time of year. But by having a complementary color palette, it means I can quickly grab a top and a bottom or shoes and a handbag and they all work really well together and it maximizes my wardrobe so I don't feel the urge or the need to constantly go and shop. The second rule I think about when I'm buying something, particularly something expensive is when am I going to have the opportunity to wear this? I want to get my dollar per wear down every time I buy something. So for example, this beautiful dress, which I can't wait to show you, is my favorite um, purchase, um, which was a Christmas present to myself. I stood in the changing room. I was so excited buying this because I love it so much, but I made myself say, okay, when are you realistically going to wear this dress? And it had to be in the immediate. So I realized I had Chloe Morello's wedding. I knew right, this would be perfect for that. I also had a girlfriend's birthday lunch um, to go to. I had a work lunch as well um, down by the water, which I knew this would be really nice for. One of my really good friends was coming out from the UK and she'd organized an afternoon cocktail party too. And then also I knew that I could wear this on Christmas day. So knowing that there were really, uh, there were real events in the immediate term that I could wear this to, it would get great mileage, great usage. I was comfortable with going ahead and purchasing it, even though it was quite expensive. But of course I always paid for this and all my other purchases in cash, no credit card debt here. The next rule that I follow is, is the item versatile? If I'm going to buy something, I need to make sure that it's going to cover me for a variety of different events and I can dress it up and dress it down. Because I said I like to get mileage out of my clothes. So taking a, a dress, a classic dress, can I wear it with some sandals or even some sneakers and a body um, crossing handbag for a more casual look? Or can I style it up and make it look quite chic and elegant with a beautiful pair of shoes and, and a, a well-made handbag? Making sure the piece is versatile, it can be styled in different ways for different looks and for different events. That is incredibly important for getting a fantastic foundation in your capsule wardrobe collection and minimizing any bad purchases. The fourth rule that I follow is I inspect the garment for quality. I do not like making purchases to find out after one or two washes the colors faded or the stitchings and hems have come undone or it's shrunk in the wash. These things are incredibly important. It has to be well made because I want my clothes to last. And sometimes that does mean buying something that's a little bit more expensive in order to get that quality. I'm happy with that investment because for me, it's worthwhile. And then the final rule that I follow, and this is probably for me the most important rule to follow when it comes to shopping is, how do I feel wearing this? Now, this is something we can, if we're not concentrating, we can say, yep, yep, that's fine, that will do. But we, when we stop and actually ask ourselves, how do we feel in this? This has stopped me from so many regretful purchases, I cannot tell you. When we actually look at the mirror and look at ourselves and go, really, how does this feel on me? How does this make me feel looking at the mirror at myself? I have ended up being really honest and going, you know what, I love the color, I love the style, but I don't like the way it hangs on this part of my body. 
And that is then made me realize, actually, I feel a little bit uncomfortable. Or I feel a little bit insecure or it even feels a little bit physically itchy or irritating. So stop and ask yourself, how does it make you feel? Your answer should be, it makes me feel like a million dollars. You want to put that item of clothing on, not just for the first time that you bring it home and wear it, but every single time you pull that dress or that top or that skirt out of your wardrobe and put it on, I want you to put it on and go, yep, so glad I bought this. God, this was a great buy. You know, it, this works with everything in my wardrobe, works with all my colors, works with my style, works with my activities. I want you to purchase well. All right, that's enough of my rules and regulations to follow when it comes to shopping for a capsule wardrobe. I'm now gonna show you what I've purchased and how I'm styling it. So enjoy. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. 